So as you guys all know by now, somebody from Pro Football Focus said that Najee was the worst pick in last year's draft, except for Travis Etienne, but you get it, he doesn't like running backs. So one, Najee was fourth in rushing with one of the worst out lines, and he was in his first year in the league. I don't have to explain why that's ridiculous, but it shows you this big bias that Cincinnati and all of pro football focus have towards the Steelers. And by the way, Najee was just chilling on vacation with his mom in Hawaii, so he could care less about all of this. But the point being is that pro football focus, they show bias towards people right they showed bias towards big ben i didn't really have a problem with that mostly because i just didn't care too much about that whole situation but they showed bias to a lot of players and then they go on and think that they have a very very legitimate case when grading these players like no you just diss them on twitter like how are we supposed to take your grade seriously knowing that that is completely biased so this is my thing with pro football focus because if you're gonna be a serious company don't be a meme page and i think the funny thing is that the steelers may be exposing pro football focus just by nature but pro football focus is really doing it to themselves because nobody on the steelers even called out pro football focus nor do any of our players care about them so yeah i think it's pretty funny plus they judge these college players off of what all 22 film they don't really have any if you notice in all their videos they don't show the all 22 you know, they're not Brett Coleman or anything like that. And I heard one former employee say that they don't really have access to it or anything like that. And I wouldn't be surprised because the XOS Digital Sports has their copyright thing going on. So yeah, everything about Pro Football Focus it is confusing to me. Don't get me wrong though, I do like some of the stuff that Pro Football Focus puts out. It's just that with some of these media trends that they tend to follow, like with the Big Ben thing, Big Ben was a guy that everybody liked to diss at the time. So what did Pro Football Focus do? They went on and dissed Big Ben. But how is that supposed to legitimize the grade you're about to give the man throughout the next 18 weeks of the NFL season? It kind of delegitimizes it, but that's just me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Hope you all enjoyed this video. That's it for me on this one. Peace.